So the French Mistral Chads have finally announced Mixtral of Experts, or the official release of Mixtral 8x7B, their first Mixture of Experts model. So no longer Mistral, this is now Mixtral. So this is the first open source Mixture of Experts model that is absolutely blowing away the competition in the open source space and is already pretty much confirmed to be better than GPT 3.5 in most cases. Well, Mixtral is the future, that's all we want, and hopefully it's going to be better than just about anything else coming out in open source. But let's get into why this is incredible, how much it costs, what they've actually announced, and what this means for the future of the most illustrious French company doing AI things in all of the EU. Hello friends, welcome to AI Flux. So a ton has happened. Uh, we now have the official release of the inference code. Even after the uh, lightning speed of researchers creating their own inference code to run this, we now have the official version. And what's cool is we can run it on our own. We're not necessarily uh, only able to run this on huge GPUs. So what does it mean that we now have an official release? So basically what this means is at this point, we both have uh, the launch of the model effectively. So you can use this now on your own with their official inference code that uses some of the um, mega blocks, uh, NVIDIA CUDA optimizations to run. We also know that they have an official API platform. So if you don't want to run it on your own hardware, um, they have a system similar to the uh, GP24 API that lets you just use this on its own. And what's curious is certain parts of this are actually more expensive than GPT-4, depending on how you use it. But let's get into this document right away. So this was released today on December 11th, 2023. They start here with saying, Mr. AI continues its mission to deliver the best open models to the developer community. Moving forward in AI requires taking new technological turns beyond reusing well-known architectures and training paradigms. Most importantly, it requires making the community benefit from original models to foster new inventions and usages. So they've announced Mixtril uh, with an X 8x7B, a high quality sparse mixture of experts model with some open weights. And so this is kind of cool here because they're calling this a SMOE. And an important note here is they're calling this open weights, not open source. So it's licensed with uh, Apache 2.0, which is a pretty permissive license. They here very boldly come out and say Mixtral outperforms Llama 270B on most benchmarks with six times faster inference. So that just means you're getting results much faster. It is the strongest open weight model with a permissive license and the best model overall regarding cost performance trade-offs. In particular, it matches or outperforms GPT 3.5 on most standard benchmarks. So what's crazy is just about a year ago, even less than that, um, GPT 3.5 was the state of the art coming from Microsoft and or OpenAI, and this is just completely nuts and the coolest thing. Now, in terms of its capabilities, they mentioned uh, it gracefully handles a context window of 32,000 tokens, which is quite good. It handles for English, French, Italian, German, and Spanish. It shows strong performance in code generation, and I can personally attest to this specifically in its ability to give you really good feedback and comments on what's going on. And it can be fine-tuned into instruction following models that achieve a score of 8.3 on MTBench. And what's also really interesting with this model is it's actually one of the only open source models I've messed around with that can actually achieve instruction following right out of the box um, without any fine tuning, depending on what you're telling it to do. Now they do mention that they're pushing the frontier of open models by being the first to release a mixture of experts model with this. They again say here that this is a decoder only model where the feed forward block picks from a set of eight distinct groups of parameters. So those are the experts of which there are eight. Um, they say at every layer for every token, a router network chooses between two of these groups. So there are two experts active in inference at any given time based on what your prompt was. They say this technique increases the number of parameters of the model while controlling cost and latency. Um, so those are kind of the big trade-offs here, right? It's how much context you can give it while giving something back that has context given the input and is also happening um, fast enough that it makes sense to use it. Performance is the next big question here. We had a really great hint of this with people who actually managed to uh, create their own inference code to run this model. But now that we have the official inference code, we know its true capability. MMLU is a benchmark that was used and created by Google to benchmark Gemini. And um, we're not comparing to Gemini today, but what's interesting is uh, there is a clear advantage from a mixed rule eight by seven B compared to Llama 270B. They've highlighted the areas where this is abundantly clear. Uh, of course, Llama still wins in a few cases, but Mixtral is winning by a clear margin in this context in most of these benchmarks. And hallucination is something that's really important. For any of you who've used GPT-4, know that there's a clear and present bias in basically everything it tells you. But what's great now is we actually have ways to measure this. So what's cool is we also know now that there's a much lower chance of Mixtral 8x7B 
even though it has greater context, uh, hallucinating and telling you wild things that you don't think it's going to do. Now, it's not fully uncensored, but in terms of what it's willing to tell you, it is much more open, and it does also give you much more than GPT-4. And the last part here is they're saying that uh, you can use instructed models. So basically, this is the ability to take one of these uh, expert models and fine tune it to exactly what you want. It basically is saying like, yeah, you can actually customize what, uh, which of the experts you want to have. So say you don't really care about pros, you could swap that in with something you like more. Something that's really, really big and that I think is not stated enough is that you can actually deploy Mixtral with an open source deployment stack. Um, for instance, you know, NVIDIA has a lot of closed source stacks and there's been a lot of really curious development in optimizing uh, NVIDIA CUDA kernels that actually um, lend more performance or make certain things easier to do than you would otherwise be able to do with just stock NVIDIA code. And the, the kernel is actually what's on the GPU and is what allows you to interact with it and program against it. So it's cool to see that they're fully supporting um, changes that let you use um, VLM, uh, which integrates the Megablocks CUDA kernels for efficient inference. So it's important to note that this is a kernel that focuses on inference first uh, and isn't quite as general, which is what you get from NVIDIA right out the bat. And the other thing is that um, you can also just run this right now with Mistral's infrastructure. So they've already paid for some GPUs, they've run it out, and uh, they have a Mistral small endpoint that I think is partially free. So if you just sign up, you can pretty much use it right now. And uh, you can also pay for it. And the pricing is kind of interesting. Uh, I'm not going to get into that in this video, but yeah, this model is incredible. It is a really, like kind of, I'm not going to say a quantum leap, but it's a huge next step into things that we thought were impossible to achieve in open source just a year ago. So it's a really interesting time to be around here. And these models are incredible. Um, I'm going to make a video showing you guys how to run this uh, outside of uh, Mr. Lea's AI's infrastructure for free. So keep an eye out for a video on that. But um, yeah, incredibly cool to see this. Incredibly cool to see this being the new trend in progress in AI. And yeah, if you guys are really excited about this, please let me know in the comments. As always, if you like our content, um, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Um, as always, we hope you learned something and we'll see you in the next one.